Hey, and welcome to Tesla Northwest and EVs. I appreciate you joining me here as we try out the latest version of Tesla's FSD Supervised 12.3.6 in my fancy 2022 Model Y Performance Amos. We're gonna head in through Bellingham. We're gonna hop on Northwest, uh, guide Meridian, I-5 South, down to Anacortes. We're gonna check out the new parking visualizations and we're just gonna have a good time. We'll have memes, we'll have gifs, we'll have laughs. So catch me on the flip side here at Tesla Northwest and EVs as we take Amos for a ride, trying out the latest version of Tesla's newest full self-driving software, 12.3.6. All right, thanks folks. All right, hey folks, welcome back to Tesla Northwest and EVs. As we can see, we're on full self-driving supervised 12.3.6. Uh, I haven't noticed the new icon before, but that new in-park icon is kind of cool. A couple items before we start. I'm in assertive. Uh, we've got lane change notification off. Tesla Vision Park Assist. That is a new thing with our update, and I've got Tesla Vision turned on. Um, I've also got automatic set speed offset and my offset is at 15 miles per hour so we are set and ready to go this is the latest version of full self-driving supervised we're going to go to uh, barnes and noble so we're going to go out around um, through bellingham and then we'll hop on uh, i-5 south off of the guide meridian so this is as congested as i can get up here in bellingham and i apologize if you want to see seattle um, that's going to be a bit tough to do so we're gonna see if it lets us engage. All right, folks, off we go. I'm gonna be a little bit irritated. We, oh, I almost had it there. I'm gonna be a little irritated if FSD or my camera messes up this video. Come on, baby. There we go, engaged. So we are gonna let FSD beta or FSD supervise 12.3.6 navigate us to the guide meridian via Northwest and then we're gonna hop on Interstate 5 South um, at the Meridian Street exit, which is a sketchy uh, on-ramp because it's super short and super congested. Okay, the car's got traffic oncoming. Nicely done. And my GoPro is acting up again, so I just apologize if things freeze up. It's because of this damn camera. But, you know, we're doing our best. So we're really uh, right side bias still. It really likes the fog line. I did use it this morning, um, came all the way from Anacortes to work, 50 miles, uh, zero interventions. And it was much more natural. It, it feels even better than 11.3.4. And I skipped dot five, so I'm on the latest update. And it is getting to be very, very human-like, uh, confident. Now it's slowing down here because of the crosswalk. Weird, because there was no pedestrians, but all right. And unfortunately, I can't get you a lot of congestion because I don't live in Seattle and I don't go to Seattle all that often. Um, so this will be about as good as it gets for uh, congested traffic, the car trying to navigate, which this isn't it, but we're gonna get to it here in just a minute. Ooh, lovely. Man, what a wild week with Tesla. Uh, I just got done saying last week how I was kind of trying to tune out the noise. And uh, then this week they go and get rid of their entire supercharger team. And uh, let me tell you, that is weird, but I'm not gonna cry uncle or say they don't know what they're doing until, uh, you know, we give a little time. I do not have a, a window into the back stage of what's going on at Tesla, and I don't really wanna second guess what they're doing. So if my supercharging experience starts to suck and I can't get where I wanna go, then I'll complain, but until then, things are great, and I'm super happy. These updates are coming fast and furious. Uh, Chuck Cook, if you haven't checked him out, uh, he's in Florida, uh, airline pilot, great guy, good videos, and uh, they verify or validate the newer FSD beta build, FSA supervised builds, um, at an unprotected left turn that he has used as an example quite often. So. Uh, he's got them there as of right now, and so that means that they must be testing out or validating a newer version. Okay, we made it around there just fine, sucking this guy's diesel fumes. So far, so good on the GoPro. 
uh, kind of a weird little slow down there. So we're going to come up and we're going to need to make a left-hand turn onto Northwest. Northwest is usually pretty congested and there are some uh, interesting roundabouts. So we're going to give the car every opportunity to see how it does. First thing is proper lane selection. We got to be all the way over, all the way over car, not this lane. Yep, there you go. Good choice. Okay, so well done. For a minute there I was a little worried, but uh, didn't need to be. Again, it's making pretty good decisions. Uh, it's not perfect yet, but dang if it isn't getting close. And got the nice visuals going on. I'm excited to show you Park Assist. I uh, used parallel parking uh, this morning. Worked really well. A little slow, but you know, what do you expect? Uh, and then when we go into, I'm going to go to Safeway uh, after I get to Anacortes, and I will bring you some footage of the Safeway parking lot and what the new Tesla Vision parking assist looks like. But meanwhile, back at the ranch, <laughs> we're just sitting here waiting for our turn. So hopefully you guys aren't too terribly bored. A gorgeous day. Uh, the weather has just been horrible so it's nice to have a little sunshine out there we go beautiful left hand turn and no hesitation just went and did it and now we'll speed up and we've got some roundabouts up here and then uh baker view and the guide meridian are usually uh pretty congested and so it should be interesting to watch the car i just gave it a little uh juice a little tappy tap to get her going and I'm very happy that my camera hasn't screwed up yet. I shouldn't jinx myself. We'll come up here to the first roundabout and then there's a second one underneath this freeway overpass and they're, they're kind of weird. So well, that's a tall guy, wow, cute dog too. Working on uh, variable frequency drives in class. So that's what their students have been, been playing with and had a great time today imparting knowledge to young minds. Yeah, not all the minds are all that young, but they're all very curious and great students, so I appreciate that. Nice speed, very comfortable. Um, the car, again, it, it it's going to drive like a, a pretty average person, I would say. It's not being overly cautious. It's not speeding everywhere like I usually do. <laughs> but it's just keeping a nice, even keel, not getting ahead of itself, and it's going to go. Nicely done. Now, it could have used a blinker. That would have been all right. Oh, yeah, that's great. That's exactly how I would have went through there. Now, we've got one more coming up up here. We'll see how it manages that. And then once we get onto Baker View, I will switch our route to home. And we'll let it uh, navigate us onto the Guide Meridian, uh, which would be uh, State Route 539. And then I-5 southbound with a really crampy on-ramp. It's super short. Here we got... Jerry, or no, this is uh, not Jerry Smith. <laughs> it's a. Uh, I can't even remember the name of this dealership now. Oh, Lee. Northwest Bellingham Chevrolet, and they have a electric Hummer in the lot. Probably a couple of Chevys, too. All right, we're going a little slow. That's all right. Maybe it's a little worried about this bicycle. Okay, good. Crosswalk. Yeah, nice stop. And the car sees the crosswalk and good, made the right decision. Now we can move over into this left-hand lane anytime we want. Nicely done car. And then we're gonna come up here and make a right and navigate down the Baker view. So as you can see, uh, haven't had to hardly intervene. I've given it a couple little, little uh, gooses of juice to get her going. Um, but no lane changes. I haven't had to disengage. Very nicely done. And now we're going to go get on the freeway. So uh, bear with me for one minute here. We're going to cancel this trip and we're going to take us, have us take us home. All right. So the car is going to navigate us home now and we're going to let it. And we're actually going to go to Safeway. <laughs> but it's just easier to put home in. 
Well, let's see how it does on the Guide Meridian and uh, merging onto Interstate 5 South. I absolutely despise Interstate 5. Uh, I don't really despise the interstate. I despise a lot of the drivers that are on it. Uh, and you all know that. And it's mainly because... For whatever reason, in Washington, we have the laziest drivers and they never want to get out of the left lane. They'll just set their cruise control at like two over the speed limit and just sit in the left lane no matter what's going on. And it is incredibly frustrating. Give you the full visual. I didn't give you that last uh, video. I'm sorry about that. Sometimes I forget. Just holler at me in the comments. If there's anything you'd like to see, uh, remember, I'm going to try and get up to Seattle or down to Seattle uh, to get you some footage, but it's not it's not super convenient. So if there's areas uh, around uh, Skagit, Whatcom County that you want to see it challenged on, let me know and I'll try it there. Otherwise, you're just going to be kind of the mercy of what I pick. <laughs> All right, good. Still rolling. Everybody's like, this is what your congested traffic is? Well, it's maybe not as bad as it could be, but yeah. This area of Bellingham is usually super busy and lots of kind of, I don't want to call them wackos, but lots of people who don't quite know what they're doing. Great, great job with the yellow light. Let's see, the Tesla referral program is over, so if anybody wants to buy a new Tesla, don't bother using my referral. <laughs> it won't work anymore. But uh, I am excited for August 8th, so I'd love to hear in the comments what you guys think they're going to be unveiling at the uh, CyberCab RoboTaxi event. I think it's going to be a steering wheel pedalless car and at least two affordable models that they're gonna preview. And those are supposed to be ready for first quarter of 2025 or next year. Okay, nice. That person ran across the road, but the car didn't freak out. And we're gonna come up here to the guide and make a right-hand turn. And then we're gonna proceed over to get onto Interstate 5. It should be, should be interesting. Hopefully you're sticking with me. You're not too bored. Again, I would I would challenge a passenger to tell me if they could figure out whether I was driving or the car was driving because it is that um, natural feeling. And it is even taking into account uh, the comfort of other drivers. Like so far, I haven't felt like I the car has done anything that would aggravate or make somebody go like, what in the hell? Uh, except maybe that little bit of a boggle at the left-hand turn lane back there getting on the northwest, but that was nothing. I mean, that was just like somebody that just had a brain fart, so. Okay, good use of the blinker. Lord knows we don't want to turn too fast, people. <laughs> All right, and now we need to come up here, and our uh, on-ramp is obviously going to be on the right, but there is a split in lanes, so the car will have to make a correct lane selection and then we'll also see if it uh, is polite and doesn't block any of the driveways as we roll through crazy growing up through here and watching all of the development and growth I remember there used to be a uh, a movie theater the Viking up here on the corner that they tore down I remember when Bellis Fair wasn't here and then when they built it uh, I remember when you could smoke inside Bellis Fair <laughs> Oh, I'm dating myself, aging myself, huh? That is one thing that I find kind of funny, and I'm in class, I'm teaching, and, uh, I mean, God bless them, they're all great students, but, you know, I'm probably twice their age for most of them, so any pop culture references I make uh, tend to sometimes just go over their heads. <laughs> okay, nicely done. Let's hope it doesn't do anything too tricky and try and flash up in front of cars. All right, my heart is in my throat right now. I get anxiety every time with this on-ramp just because it sucks so bad. So you guys are really lucky that you are getting this footage from me because I just, it makes me really anxious. I avoid this on-ramp even when I'm driving because of how congested it is. But yeah, we'll give it a shot. What's the worst that can happen, you know? 
uh, blinker probably not called for but you know whatevs we'll go with it and immediately hitting the brakes as we come around the corner okay not bad there's a nice pull star okay that was a little odd so slow come on folks all right so here we go merging onto interstate 5 south at the guide meridian on ramp which sucks big time because of how congested it is so we're gonna let the car do its thing it wants to jump out in front of everybody but it's not it should be using a blinker and we're gonna juice our speed Come on. All right, I'm gonna initiate a lane change. The car was being a little reluctant and I goosed it a couple times to get it to speed up but it was reluctant there too, so. There you have it. No interventions. That wasn't the most elegant on-ramp. No blinker and it was kinda like running out the lane, not running out the lane, but I don't blame it too much because the traffic in here is just stupid. I mean. As you can see, there's no real reason for us to be going 60 in the left lane, but that's what we're going to do the whole way. So anyway, I'll quit bitching. Thanks for joining me. I'll uh, bring you back along for the ride when we get closer to Anacortes, and we'll get you some Tesla visuals in the Safeway parking lot. Thanks, folks, and I'll catch you on the flip side. We're rolling along here on State Route 20, and I noticed something kind of interesting, so I'm going to initiate a lane change and the car says no no we're not going to change lanes let me try it again initiate a lane change and there it did it that time yay so we're going to roll up here and then we're going to try and get in the left lane in just a moment this person's slowing down they're making a turn see now the car really really should have blinkered over and gotten out of the way for that but it didn't and it's doing a nice job accelerating. We're going to give it just a little juice here. And very good. All right. So we're going to try and get in the left lane here in just a moment. In fact, we'll signal now to go over and we'll see what happens here. So see, the car's like, nah, I guess not. And there we got her. So it's a little bit leery about making uh, lane changes and sometimes it just decides not to. <laughs> so that's a little interesting. It's done that on other builds, but it hasn't been quite as stubborn um, until this one. And notice very early braking. So we're, we brake relatively early and then roll up at seven miles an hour. So uh, decent. I mean, I think that's the way a lot of people drive, but then I know a lot of people also that like to go a little bit quicker up to the light. So. Thinking about other drivers' comfort, maybe it's slowing down a little bit, but overall, not bad. So here we go, off. We are on State Route 20. This is almost as bad as Interstate 5. People get in this left-hand lane and then they just think, well, I'm going to Oak Harbor, so I may as well just stay in the left lane the whole way. <laughs> All right, I'll check back in when we get closer too. Uh, it saw a 20 mile an hour speed limit sign and it changed and I had to fix it back. There it went back. So that was a little weird. Got to be paying attention. Sometimes it grabs the wrong thing. So we'll check back in when we get closer to Anacortes and we'll bring you some footage of the uh, Tesla Vision in the Safeway parking lot. Rolling into Anacortes. Uh, we're going to take our avenue to Safeway. So I thought I'd bring you along as the car uh, gets all lined out to take me to the grocery store. So we're... Coming into Anacortes around this nice big sweeping bend. And they just got done building some new roundabouts on uh, our avenue. So should be interesting. I haven't taken full self-driving down this way in a while. So good use of a blinker. Let people know what we're doing early. Uh, we're slowing down maybe a little bit much. But again, I you know, I'm comparing it to how I drive. And I need to think about how an average driver would be I was gonna say safe driver I'm a safe driver I just like to go fast but what an average driver would be expecting is what I'm I need to think about more so here we are we're good uh, speed limit okay good and we're gonna come up here and we got a roundabout see how that goes and uh, 
yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll just let you ride all the way up into Safeway. So the car slowing down a little bit, but it sees these pedestrian or workers, so it's probably sufficient and good. Okay, here's our first roundabout, and absolutely no problems. Very well done. And so much smoother than they used to be. All right, cool. And we'll come up here, and we got another one. Everybody's like, oh, this is so boring. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. Uh, I don't know how much more people are going to be really excited about watching FSD videos because it's basically getting so good that uh, folks are going to be on the lookout for when it screws up. <laughs> oh, isn't that the way it always is though, right? If it bleeds, it leads. If it's positive, it's usually buried under the, uh, under the headline. So skate park got done and of course it's got a nice skate park and they just redid it. Good. And here's our next roundabout. No issues whatsoever. Yeah. Very nicely done. All right. Oh, we got a radar sign up here telling us to slow down. K-Band. K-Band's the, uh, one of the older radar bands that the cops use. And so I'll, most times you're going to see K-Band, it's going to be uh, signs and the like, and then KA band or laser is what the cops really like to use. Very nicely done. The car was a little hesitant there. It didn't want to get ahead of its skis, so it slowed down. I appreciate that. And uh, we've got a 25 mile an hour speed limit, so I'm going to give it just a touch more. There we go. And our turn is right up here. You can see Safeway, hopefully, in the camera screen. And I'm really curious to see what the uh, Tesla Vision Auto Park Assist looks like. So we're going to find out here in just one minute. I'm not quite sure what it thinks it's doing, but we're going to go ahead and let it go with it. Okay. So I probably would have gone in a different entrance, but you know what? That's all right. The car can go in this entrance if it wants, but no, looks like it's going to come up here. <laughs> it's taken like the dumbest way to the grocery store, but that's okay. It's FSD footage, right? So we're going to creep up here and it's going to be looking. We could already have been parking if it hadn't taken this way, but whatever. And it doesn't need a wait. It's got a free turn here into the, well, now we can't, but it can turn into this right hand lane. So it's waiting, but it doesn't need to. It could make a turn if it wanted to, but it's still just waiting waiting this is a little ridiculous luckily nobody's behind me um come on come on baby you can do it there now it saw a window of opportunity and it took it could have taken it a long time ago but just turned it into this right lane right here but you know whatevs okay it says autopilot navigation complete we are turning into the grocery store Nicely done, and we are done now. So I put my foot on the brake, and I'm gonna look at parking spots. So let's see what we can find. I don't wanna hit this guy right here. And uh, so there is our visuals. We can see we had a parking spot pop up there. We're just gonna roll real gentle through here. And as soon as one pops up, we'll hit P for park. Now these guys should come up. And I don't see anybody, don't see any spots lighting it, lighting up for me to park in. Come on, guy. There's all these spots available. All right, let's go around and see what we see. Let's go down through here. I had one pop up for just a minute, and it could be because I'm going too fast. So I'm going to slow down to three miles an hour in the parking lot. And we're going to see if the car can spot a parking spot for us. Huh? Come on, baby. You gonna park for me? You gonna park for me? Evidently, it is still more of a novelty than anything else. <laughs> so there you go, folks. We'll try this again another time, uh, but at least we can see the new visuals and they're pretty cool. I'll uh, check with you. I appreciate everybody who joined me. We'll catch you on the flip side here at Tesla, Northwest, and EVs.